Chicken Hatch. Yeah, welcome to day 15. We are two thirds of the way through. Our uh, little baby chicks are inside their eggs growing profusely. And a little fun fact for you is that these eggs that you see took 24 hours to, from start to finish to come out of a mother hen. 24 hours. And guess how many hours of that was used to make this beautiful shell? Can you guess? 18? Oh, good, good. It's ten. actually 10. Nice. It's actually 20 hours of the 24-hour period to make an egg. 20 hours is devoted to making that shell. And the reason why that shell is so important that it's nice and strong and the chick has access to lots of calcium is that at this time, day 14, 15, 16, the little baby chick inside, this embryo, is creating its beak, its uh, wings, its toenails, all of that stuff that requires calcium. It's actually taking the calcium from its very own shell. And that's one of the important things that's happening right now with these little baby chicks is that they're taking calcium from the shell to make not only the beak, but its egg tooth. And the egg tooth is what it's going to use to break out of the shell in about a week. So let's candle and see where they're at. And what you can see right now is see how big that air sac is. And that air sac on the top of the egg, let me just... Uh, there we go. That air sac on the top of the egg is what's allowing the chick to breathe. And it's going to get bigger and bigger over the next week. So this chick is pretty much, a, oh, it's moving. Okay, so there's a little movement. Can you see that? The darkness in that egg is actually the chick embryo. And um, I think you can see some blood vessels if I move that around. This shell is a little darker. There, do you see those blood vessels? Yeah. And this eggshell is a little darker, so we're gonna pick up a light shell now, and hopefully you'll get to see a lot more. So this is a blue egg from an Americana chick, chicken, and uh, you can see the egg is inside, the um, chick is inside, you can see the air sac on top. This is a smaller egg, so the air sac's smaller. Let's pick maybe one of my one of my Australorp chickens. Ah, that you can really see an eggshell. You can also see the shell is a bit porous. You can see the little little dots in the shell. Can you see the chick moving a little bit? Oh yeah, I did. There we go. <laughs> We've got some movement there. I'm wondering if you guys can see it. I'm going to try and point the light away. Uh, and some of the chicks are a little more active than others. Well, there's, there's some movement. And um, yeah, lots of blood vessels. Of course, as they're developing, they need lots of blood vessels to give them the nutrients that they need and also to take the waste away. Um, so this chick is a really happy, healthy chick. And all of the chicks are doing great. We've candled the, the eggs. And looking at them all, they've all got lots of movement, lots of great blood vessel development, and um, they're progressing really well. I don't know if you can see any movement in here. Let's see if we get that closer. Let's see. Anything's moving there? Not yet. Let's pick another shell that's maybe even lighter and see. Okay. Anything happening? Well, oh, there's a little bit. So, right now, they the mother hen would leave the nest for up to an hour to get food and water and get a little exercise. So, what we're doing right now, um, candling the eggs, is pretty close to what would happen in nature. Um, the mother hen would leave the nest and would go, oh, this is a good one, and would go and find um, some food. And so the chicks would have what is called the cool down period. Oh, there we go. This one's active. <coughs> Lots of movement there. So in about a week when they hatch, 
what will first happen is they will internally pip, which means that they their egg tooth on the end of their beak will break through the interior membrane in the shell. And if you've ever hard-boiled an egg, you know underneath the hard shell there's a sort of a membrane and that's the internal pipping will happen there and the baby chick will internally pip into the air sac. And then it'll have lots of air to breathe and then it takes its time, about 24 hours, and it will externally pip, which means it will start to break the shell in little dots going around the top end. Lots of movement in this one. So I hope you can see that. This one's very active. Yeah. So yeah, there's going to be some excitement in a week and um, they're all doing really well. Now I think what's going to happen with these eggs is that coming up a couple days before the hatch, the hatch is scheduled for Tuesday, we're going to remove these side supports and just let the eggs lie flat on the foam and that way when they hatch they have room to move about because they're pretty active. So let's see if we can look at one more egg and see what's going on. Let's see if we've got another one that's active. Well, that one's sleeping, but you can see the <laughs> air sac there, right? Getting much bigger than it was before. It's about doubled in size. So yeah, so that's where we are, day 14, 15 with the eggs and um, one more week you'll be hearing peeping coming out of them and you'll be seeing little holes at the top end. So uh, wish them luck everyone. Yes they will. The egg tooth will drop off after they're hatched. Yeah, yeah definitely. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do the eggs come out so perfectly? And why don't they break? <laughs> well, an egg is, is just a feat of engineering. And it, they don't break easily from the outside because it's that round shape. So this shape is, is um, meant to be broken more easily from the inside than the outside. Um, but they don't break because if you've ever touched a chicken's rear end, it's very soft and fleshy. And their vent is quite large, so it, it's not a bony structure. It's, yeah, yeah, yes. I, I'm curious, when the first one pops out, does yeah. it ever, you know, take its beak and go at any of the other eggs? or Not intentionally. Totally stay to itself? It doesn't stay to itself. It kind of moves around. And it what they do after they first hatch is they stay under the mama hen for 24 hours to dry off because they're wet. And so it'll stay in here for 24 hours when they first hatch and they dry off. And during that first 24 hours, it doesn't need anything. No food, no water, because it's absorbed the yolk. And the yolk is what feeds it for the first 24 hours after it hatches. So what it does, though, is peep a lot. And that spurs the rest of the eggs to hatch also. It's, it, they're communicating with each other. They're peeping with each other inside the shell, outside the shell. So it doesn't intentionally do anything, but it does help by communicating with them. Yeah. So come back next week and we'll see the eggs hatching. All right.